As the great philosopher Forrest Gump once said, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Well, folks, it seems Texas might be getting a surprise that's far less sweet than chocolate. Today, we're diving into a prediction so wild, it makes the plot of Sharknado look like a documentary. Scientists are warning that a massive sinkhole could swallow all of Texas. Yes, you heard that right. The Lone Star State might need to change its nickname to the Black Hole State if these predictions come true. So, fasten in, y'all. We're about to take a journey into the depths of Texas, where the ground isn't as solid as we once thought, and the future is looking mighty uncertain. In this video, we'll explore why scientists believe Texas might be on the verge of becoming America's biggest dimple and what this could mean for the future of the state and beyond. Nature's Unexpected Magic Trick Imagine waking up one morning to find your neighbor's house has disappeared, leaving behind nothing but a gaping hole in the ground. This isn't the plot of a new Netflix series. It's the reality of living in sinkhole-prone areas. Sinkholes are nature's way of reminding us that the ground beneath our feet isn't as stable as we'd like to believe. These geological phenomena occur when the land surface no longer has the support it needs from the subsurface. It's like the Earth decides to play a cosmic game of Jenga, removing crucial support structures until everything comes tumbling down. The result? A sudden collapse that can swallow everything from cars to entire buildings. In Texas, this sinkhole threat is becoming increasingly real and alarmingly widespread. The Lone Star State, known for its vast oil fields and everything's bigger mentality, is now facing the possibility that things might get a whole lot smaller, or rather, deeper. From oil wells to hell's bells. Texas has long been synonymous with oil. The state's history is written in black gold, with oil derricks dotting the landscape like exclamation points on a page of Texan pride. However, this very industry that has been the lifeblood of Texas's economy might be digging the state's grave quite literally. Scientists are sounding the alarm that decades of aggressive oil and gas drilling have left Texas in a precarious position. Jin Woo Kim, a researcher at Southern Methodist University, described the state as being punctured like a pincushion with oil wells and injection wells since the 1940s. This isn't just a case of a few holes here and there. We're talking about hundreds of thousands of wells, each one potentially contributing to the destabilization of the land beneath Texans' feet. The scale of this pincushioning is staggering. According to state regulators, there are nearly 300,000 oil wells in Texas. That's enough holes to make Swiss cheese jealous. And unlike Swiss cheese, which is delicious on a sandwich, this holy ground could lead to catastrophic consequences. Why Texas might need floaties. To understand why scientists are so concerned, we need to dive deeper than a Texas oil well into the science behind this sinkhole threat. The oil and gas extraction process is more complex than simply sticking a straw in the ground and slurping up the oil. It involves a delicate dance of extraction and injection that, over time, can destabilize the very ground we walk on. When oil and gas are extracted, it leaves behind voids in the earth. To maintain pressure in these reservoirs and to dispose of wastewater produced during the extraction process, companies often inject water or carbon dioxide back into the ground. It's like trying to maintain the shape of a water balloon by constantly removing and adding water. Eventually, something's got to give. Over time, this process can lead to significant ground movement. In some areas of Texas, the land is sinking at alarming rates. For instance, an area near one of Wink's famous sinkholes has been sinking at a rate of 15.5 inches per year. To put that into perspective, that's faster than the growth rate of some small dog breeds. If this trend continues, chihuahuas in Wink might need to evolve into greyhounds just to keep their heads above ground. But it's not just about sinking land. The real concern is the potential for these areas of subsidence to suddenly collapse, forming massive sinkholes that could swallow entire neighborhoods, infrastructure, and ecosystems. It's like the Earth is playing a game of the floor is lava, except in this version, the floor actually disappears. Texas-sized trouble. If you're looking for a preview of what could be in store for Texas, look no further than the town of Wink. This small community in West Texas is home to two infamous sinkholes, affectionately, or perhaps fearfully, named Wink Sink 1 and Wink Sink 2. 
Winksink 1 made its debut in 1980, surprising residents with a sudden collapse that created a hole big enough to swallow an entire football field. Not to be outdone, Winksink 2 opened up in 2002, proving that sequels can indeed be bigger and more dramatic than the original. What's particularly alarming is the ground movement detected between these two sinkholes. Scientists have observed a subsidence bowl, an area of sinking land that has descended about 40 inches in just two and a half years. This suggests that the two sinkholes could potentially merge, creating a mega sinkhole that would make the Grand Canyon look like a pothole. The Wink sinkholes serve as a stark warning of what could be in store for the rest of the state. They're like the canary in the coal mine, except in this case, the canary is a giant hole in the ground and the coal mine is the entire state of Texas. When the ground gives way. While the geological aspects of this issue are fascinating in a watching a disaster movie kind of way, the real story lies in the potential human impact. Over 47,000 people live in just the four counties included in the initial study. That's 47,000 lives potentially at risk from unpredictable ground collapse. It's like living on a giant geological roulette wheel, never knowing when or where the ball might drop. The threat extends beyond just the immediate danger of falling into a sudden chasm, as if that weren't bad enough. Sinkholes represent a danger to critical infrastructure. Roads, railroads, levees, dams, and oil and gas pipelines are all at risk. The collapse of any of these could lead to cascading disasters, from transportation nightmares to environmental catastrophes. Imagine waking up to find that your morning commute now involves navigating around a giant hole where the highway used to be. Or picture a scenario where a pipeline collapses, leading to oil spills that make the Deepwater Horizon incident look like a minor leak. These aren't just hypothetical situations. They're potential realities if the sinkhole threat isn't addressed. Moreover, there's a significant risk to groundwater. As the land collapses, it could expose underground water sources to pollution from surface contaminants or from the very oil and gas operations that caused the instability in the first place. It's a cruel irony. The pursuit of one natural resource, oil, could lead to the contamination of an even more precious one, water. Louisiana's Cautionary Tale if you think the idea of a massive sinkhole swallowing large swaths of Texas sounds like the plot of a B-grade disaster movie, history suggests otherwise. In 2012, Louisiana experienced a catastrophic sinkhole event that forced hundreds of residents to evacuate. The culprit? A collapsed salt cavern that was being drilled by the petrochemical company Texas Brine. This event, known as the Bayou Corn Sinkhole, started as a tiny hole and grew to encompass 37 acres. It swallowed trees whole, belched oil and natural gas, and turned the lives of local residents upside down. The Bayou Corn Disaster serves as a chilling precedent for what could happen on a larger scale in Texas. It's a stark reminder that the risks associated with extensive drilling are not theoretical. They're very real and have already impacted communities. If a single collapsed salt cavern can cause this much damage, imagine the potential impact of hundreds of thousands of deteriorating oil wells across Texas. Beyond Texas While the focus of the current research is on Texas, the implications stretch far beyond the state's borders. Scientists are expanding their study to observe land movement stemming from oil drilling across the southeast. This suggests that the problem could be far more widespread than initially thought. The potential for similar issues in other states with significant oil and gas operations is a cause for national concern. States like Oklahoma, Louisiana, and Alabama could be sitting on their own sinkhole time bombs. It raises questions about the long-term sustainability of our current energy practices and the hidden costs of our reliance on fossil fuels. This wider threat turns what could be dismissed as a Texas problem into a national issue. It's not just about saving Texas from becoming the world's largest hole in the ground. It's about preventing a domino effect that could destabilize large portions of the American South. A call for action. In the face of this looming threat, there's a growing call for action. Environmental advocates argue that this is just one more clear sign that we need to get off of oil as fast as possible. But transitioning away from fossil fuels is easier said than done. 
especially in a state where oil is not just an industry, but a way of life. Addressing this issue will require a multifaceted approach. It will likely involve stricter regulations on drilling practices, increased monitoring of ground movement, and potentially the development of new technologies to stabilize affected areas. Some scientists are exploring the possibility of using advanced radar satellite imagery to detect ground movement before it leads to catastrophic collapse. There's also a need for greater public awareness. Many residents in potentially affected areas may be unaware of the risks beneath their feet. Education and preparedness could be key in mitigating the human impact of any future sinkhole events. After all, it's hard to prepare for a threat you don't know exists. Balancing Prosperity and Precarity The sinkhole threat puts Texas in a difficult position. The oil and gas industry has been a cornerstone of the state's economy for decades. In 2019, the oil and gas industry supported over 400,000 jobs in Texas and contributed more than $16 billion to the state's budget. Suddenly halting or significantly curtailing this industry could have devastating economic consequences. On the other hand, the potential costs of widespread land subsidence and sinkhole formation could dwarf even these impressive economic figures. The damage to infrastructure, property, and human lives could be incalculable. It's a classic case of short-term gain versus long-term sustainability played out on a Texas-sized scale. Finding a balance between economic prosperity and geological stability will be one of the greatest challenges Texas faces in the coming years. It will require innovative thinking, political will, and possibly a fundamental reimagining of the state's economic future. A whole new world? As Texas faces this subterranean threat, the future of the Lone Star State hangs in the balance. Will Texas be able to address this issue before it's too late? Or will parts of the state literally sink into obscurity? The coming years will be crucial. How Texas responds to this challenge could set a precedent for how we deal with the long-term consequences of resource extraction. It's a test of our ability to balance economic interests with environmental stewardship and public safety. One thing is certain, the ground beneath our feet is not as stable as we once thought. As we peer into the abyss of these potential sinkholes, we're also peering into the consequences of our actions and the challenges that lie ahead. The question is, will Texas find solid ground in time, or will it become the site of America's biggest disappearing act? Now it's time to hear from you. What do you think about this sinkhole threat in Texas? Do you believe we should immediately halt all oil and gas drilling, or do you think there's a way to continue safely? And if you lived in an area at risk of sinkholes, what precautions would you take? Let us know in the comments below.